So this is a new series which I'm coming up, basically giving you tips to help prepare for MBA entrance exams. So what I'm going to do is uh, when I started preparing not only for entrance exam, but generally in life, I got a lot of help from the self-help books. I mean, I got a lot of learnings from that. So what I'll be doing out here is pick up some you know, learning or preparation tips from the self-help groups and try to apply it for the MBA entrance preparation. So that's what I'll do out here. So today we'll take the first book, which is uh, How to Enjoy Life and Your Job. This is by Dale Carnegie book. So I will pick up a lot of, lot of good inputs are given in this particular book. So I'll make short videos on how you can use the learnings to help you in your entrance exam preparation. So today, the first learning that we look at uh, from this particular book, that is a part one of the series. Okay, myself, Patrick D'Souza, I am six times cat 100 percentile and I believe I can guide you better with regards to helping you to crack the entrance exam. The first tip that I can look at from this book and as mentioned in the book is you need to find yourself and be yourself. So what we'll do is we'll start with, look, we'll look at what is mentioned in the book first and then we'll look at what learnings we can get okay, from this particular tip as far as MBA entrance preparation is concerned. So what is mentioned in the book? It is mentioned that okay, all of us is different, Maybe each one of us is different from others, I mean with different qualities and different uh, aspects. So, but unfortunately, each one of us try to be like others and we try that, okay, we want to be like some great artist or we want to be like someone else and we try to imitate him. Okay, even the author mentioned that when he was writing a book, he tried to copy things from others, I mean, get inputs from all the other books. Only then he realized that what output he got was not what was really good. So then he started something writing on his own and he came out with a bestseller, right? So. One example that is mentioned out here is of Charlie Chaplin. I mean, a comedian, very famous comedian. Okay, when he started, he started by imitating a popular German comedian, and he failed miserably. It's only when he started his own, okay, that he succeeded. He started uh, believing in himself and having his own, you know, humor in the whole script. That's when he started succeeding. So it's very important to be yourself and not copy others. Understand that. Okay, the problem uh, is uh, of being unwilling to be yourself is as whole as history. What does it mean is that, I mean, it's been throughout history that everyone looks at others and tries to imitate others. They do want to be what they themselves are. So it's very important what you are and you be yourself. Okay, it is as whole, it's very common with everyone. Well, let's look at the learnings that we get from MBA entrance. Okay, what happens is when we prepare for the entrance exam, we frequently compare with others, okay, specifically when we sit in the class. So we see others answering the question faster than us. We see that we don't understand any, any we don't understand the sum, but others are able to answer it better. So we keep on constantly comparing ourselves with others and somewhere we feel that we are not good enough. So most students get demotivated because they see others are better, okay, and they feel it will not happen. If he is able to answer and I am not able to even understand, how will I ever be able to solve questions? So most students do get demotivated because they start comparing themselves with others. I have seen so many examples of students I mean, who have overcome this in a very good way. They know their limitations and then they try to do their best. Okay, I mean they know that okay, maybe I am not good with that, as good as the students but I am good enough. Let me work hard work on my strengths, work on my weakness and see how I can improve because I am different from what he is. So I'm seeing so many students who look up to others. Okay. But when they say that, okay, let me try on my own and do my best. They end up doing really, really good. I mean, one of the very common examples I realize is when I was taking a class of maybe a group of, you know, when I was taking a class, but there were a group of three or four students who saw one engineer answering questions very fast. He was answering quickly. And they looked up to him. So they started going to him and asking him, okay, teachers, teachers, let me learn from you. I went to him and said, there's no harm in learning from him. But then his methods are different from yours. Understand that. And I feel his methods are not as good as what your methods, you can develop your own methods. So I, you know, told them that you learn among yourself, try to develop your own qualities. I mean, uh, you have your own way of solving. In the end, they were able to do really well. I mean, 
one went to I am Bangalore, one went to I am Lucknow, one went to XLR and so on. I mean, they did really well. Okay. Because they went about looking at their qualities and working on it. Okay. Without immediating at us. Like one more example. There are a student who was really weak in cons. I mean, you're finding it, she had given up her preparation, couldn't prepare at all. She had give, given up. Then she came back, she said, okay, let me accept the fact that I'm not good at cons. So what she did was she was scoring negative marks in all her mocks in the initial part of it, in the con section. She said, let, let me not go about acing cons and doing great in cons or doing high marks in cons. I know there are students who can score 99 percentile plus. Let me just aim to score 80 percentile in a con section and clear the cutoff. So she started learning from others, people who were really good. She said, I know you all are better than me, but let me just learn and see how I can clear the cutoff. She worked. She ensured that she scored 80 percentile in her con section okay she scored 80 and she scored overall 95 plus percentile and got into mdi so like amazing from scoring negative marks in con to maybe scoring overall 95 plus percentile making to mdi was an amazing feat and the way she went about doing her working hard was really good and i've seen a lot of students doing that you have to work on your own strengths and weakness you can't look at others and work on it it is important to work on your own strengths and weakness and accordingly prepare. Others could be better, but that doesn't mean that you can't aim for, you know, a high college. Keep working, keep practicing and that will help you. Second thing that I can look at learning is that plan your study based on your own strengths and weakness. A lot of people, you know, copy others in terms of what others do and I should do the same. Not necessary. You may have your own weakness with respect to others. I mean, maybe you are weak in vocabulary because maybe you are from a vernacular medium maybe he is good at you know his vocabulary so he focuses on reading but you can focus on vocabulary so each one has his own strengths and weakness not only in terms of oral subjects but within the subjects so in mathematics there could be a person who could be you know finding equations difficult there could be someone else who could find geometry difficult so you need to plan your study based on your own strengths and weakness and that is what is important I'm not take, saying don't take hints from others, don't take tips from others, but do modify it based on your own. Okay, you can get it checked from your mentor. Prepare your own plan, get it checked from the mentor. It is a very good way of doing it. As also, when you write the mocks later on, ensure that you you have your own strategy. Learn from others. I'm not saying no, but don't imitate others. Try other strategy and modify it based on what you feel works for you and what doesn't work for you. That is what will help you to learn. So in the end, what I'm trying to tell you is don't get demotivated with low scores or not doing really well. Actually, it doesn't matter. What is important is how well you can, you know, work with regards to the whole concept. As long as you believe in yourself and you feel that you can do well, go ahead and prepare for yourself. That is what is important. And if you can do that, I'm sure you'll be able to get into one of the top colleges in the end of the year. Right. So I'll come up with more such tips. There'll be a lot of such tips which come up. I'll come up with more such tips to help you in your preparation for CAT examination. Do watch the videos. I'm sure they help you somewhere or the other in terms of preparation. Maybe one tip may not be so motivating, but there could be some other tip which is more relevant to you. Right. So keep watching. Thank you.